What's up, guys? This is Simone Lawrence, and you're on the Pay Me to Stop podcast. Oh, episode number five. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, I, I got a real special guest, but before we get to the special guest, I got to check in with everybody. My dog, Zach, got married. Big shout to Zach. He's behind the cameras. Um, he got married. Um, he told me that it was the most eventful time of his whole entire life, you know? Uh, he married the woman of his dreams and he's super excited about it. Thank you for letting him hang out with us. Every time he's late home, it is my fault. I like to take all of the blame. It is my fault when Zach is home late and I'm sorry, you know? But you gotta pay me to stop, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the pay me to stop podcast. Let's get to it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this doesn't have nothing to do with nothing, but I have to tell Hamilton something. So, oh man, I was hungry. And you know how you, you like mad hungry and you don't want to go sit down at no restaurant. You want to just go get that food. You want, but you don't want to go to like McDonald's or nothing. You want that good, heavy quality food that really tastes really good that after you're done eating, you just, all you want to do is sleep and watch television. Yeah, that's how I was feeling. So I was walking around, you know, boom, boom, bang. I seen this little spot on the corner. I was like, that's, that's my vibe. You know, the corner spots of corner spots Restaurants are usually always the best. If you have the corner of any block, you are guaranteed to have the best food. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's universal. You know what I'm saying? So we were at Lulu's, the absolute best shawarma place I've ever had. I'm talking about the, the shawarma is like, the, the shawarma is like this, this, this fat, you know what I mean? Like styrofoam bulges. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> As you can see, I have Dylan Wynn here, special <laughs> guest Dylan Wynn, <laughs> but <laughs> he's a big fan of this swarm of place too, but when I tell you Lulu's is the place to go and check it out, oh my gosh, like, I'll let Dylan talk more about it. Yes, I do have Dylan. Let's, oh, actually, let's welcome Dylan to the show since you messing up my drop. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Dylan. <Sorry. laughs> What's what, up? What are my savages? You know what I mean? Dylan, what's up, bro? Man, Dylan, I miss you. I love you, bro. I just <laughs> want you to know that. Let me tell y'all something about Dylan real quick. So, you know what I mean? My dog Dylan, you know, had an unfortunate injury and stuff, right? So, he's forced to miss the remainder of the season. So, he had to go get insert some surgery, right? You know, usually you get surgery. I had friends get surgery and not be able to do anything. Like, they were just in the house, like, oh, I can't move. Uh, the, the meds, oh, like, everything hurts. You know what I mean? I'm just going to chill, and I'm not going to do nothing. Yo, my dog Dylan, right, he got the surgery on the same day that we had a game, right? Not only my dog get the surgery, he came to the stadium right after the surgery, like, like he just brushed his teeth real quick, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the real tough guys in the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he gets the surgery, oh, I'ma just brush my teeth and go watch my boys play, it's nothing, I didn't just have surgery, you know, I didn't, you know what I mean? I wasn't just in the surgery room, I'm just gonna come and watch my boys play and support them, you know what I mean? That's the kind of, yo, what the, what's up, man? The wonders of modern medicine. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, that's just, my dog. But like, I got a question for you. Yeah. What's a, what's a tough guy? What's who's a tough guy? What's a tough? What guy? do you What do you mean? It just didn't hurt. Yeah. Like, I just I felt good enough to go to the game. My wife hates it. Yeah. She's mad about it. You mm -hmm. know. Um, I was told more that day that I was pretty stupid, but. You know, I got the brace on, and it's yeah. kind of on me. It's, you know, Bro. it's what hurts. And it's not do. like you're a regular human, you know what I mean? It's not like, <laughs> you know, if I if I go up to Dylan right now and accidentally punch him as hard as I can, and I say, my bad, he's like, oh, no good, it's all good, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> part of the job, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, That's D-line play. You know what I mean? But, like, what 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 gives a guy that tough guy, you know what I mean? You know you do stuff like that, but what what can you see on the football field to be like, yeah, that's a tough guy right there. I don't know. It's it, it's all make up in different ways, you know. That's but true. there's always brawlers, especially I see it in the trenches mostly. But mm -hmm. like, they all do the tough guy shit, the no eye contact, mm -hmm. the, or the keep an eye contact. You know, mm -hmm. the Tyson stuff, the yeah. Mamba stuff. The, yeah. Everyone studies the same kind of greats, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's that you yeah. know. But eventually, they break. If you had like, a, if you had one tough guy to like 
emulate or to say like that's unique, nah. who would it be? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it changes as you grow as it a football does. player, right? Because growing up, like I think the guys I would emulate, you know, would probably be not allowed to play <laughs> football no more. Like if we're being honest, like but Urlachers, the Urlachers exactly. of the day were savages, mm -hmm. and you know, um, I always kind of had temperament stuff, and I had well, I that's had why a, we all play football game. most right, of us exactly. Yeah. And, <laughs> I had I had luckily good mentorship coming up mm -hmm. where they you know talked to me about how to deal with that kind of stuff and how to play the game correctly and mm -hmm. you know you kind of gauge it and you change how you play mm -hmm. so I think early on I was like anybody that was just tough gritty you know dirty like getting in their football back with the t bars and yeah. all that blood and coming out the nose yeah but it, as I got older it started to develop into like I loved Harrison. Because mm. he just outworked people. Mm. He just got big. He got mean. He's like, you know, I'm just out lifting. I'm just out throwing. I don't want to look at the media. I don't want to, you know, that hard knocks. Like, yeah. I hate hard knocks, but I saw that as a highlight. Like, you know, you get caught in YouTube every once in a while. I, I didn't watch you. it. But, Dylan. like, I saw the highlights of him dodging cameras. And I was like, ah, I feel Dylan. that, you know. Dylan, about the actual question. I'm just asking you, is it true, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Is it true that you rustled a bear with no t-shirt and just some pants on? A bear? No. I've That's never, not true? I've never wrestled a bear. That never happened? No. For real? A bear. You never wrestled a bear? No. Okay. Just making sure. Is it true that your daughter is tougher than the Saskatchewan offensive line? Okay, I'll, I'll go to the next question. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, I have another question for you. It's a it's a random question, but we I love that ring on. Oh my gosh, that Toronto Argo ring. Oh. Wow, that's a big ring. But I got a question for you. Is it true that you ran from a bar fight in 2017? And you left one of your teammates to go to a bar fight by himself? No, that was, that's, that's not true. That's not true. There ain't no bar fight. If it was a bar fight, I would have stayed. You know, just because, I'll answer the question. If there's no bar fight, I don't run from no bar fight. But, you know. God got me home that day. It was wonderful. <laughs> I'll drink that. Okay, one. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Oh. Is it's it true? Nice. Is your You went to Oregon State? Go Beavs. So you guys don't like Oregon then? Because y'all mm -hmm. got the same names. Mm -mm. It flies and dies. Is it true that when you played Marius, Marcus Mariota, that you were supposed to contain him, but you came inside and he got free and scored? I don't. I don't think did he off the edge on me. I don't think you. it happened. No, but I'll give you this one. I'll give you this one. I did get juked <laughs> on an option and went to the sideline. My coach was like, "What the? What happened?" I was like, "I got juked." And he goes, "That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll find somebody that won't get juked." <laughs> <laughs> so that's you know. Oh. I don't think I let Mariota get one, but I didn't get him on the ground. Okay, so. that's smooth. Good. Yeah. I like that. Okay, is it true mm. that you've missed practice because your stomach hurt? Never. <laughs> Never. Is it true that you missed practice you. because you were under the weather? Never. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> like, oh, yo, what's up? <laughs> Who misses <laughs> My mom would, look, <laughs> mom wouldn't let me go home. Right, what are you on. talking about? I've gone to football practices with one shoe. Because I left that shoe in the parking lot somewhere. And my mom was like, no, nope, go run your laps. Dude, no, what? No. <clears throat> okay. I don't think they make parents like they used to, man. <clears throat> Scott, by the way, he says he loves you. Scott, our athletic trainer right now, is mm -hmm. doing a great job. Mm -hmm. um, he was wondering... He thought you could go into politicians after sports and stuff for sure. <laughs> okay. And then the question after that was politics, Democrat or Republican? 
I'm actually libertarian. Okay. Which means uh, I think the party system's stupid. <laughs> that's all we need to know. Perfect. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question. 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 One more question. Uh, two more questions. Is it true that you cried when you got your leg tattoo? Never. Okay. Mm -mm. No. I, I thought no. That. I almost passed out though. <laughs> <laughs> The toes, man. <laughs> Don't do the toes. Don't do the toes. It only hurts once. So like, <laughs> I'm not doing the toes. I'm I good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Question. Yeah. You're from California. You know, that's your spot, right? Raised in Cali. Yeah. Yeah. So is it true that Arnold Schwarzenegger was the best governor you guys had? Not true. Oh, man. He signed my, like, <laughs> athletic stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't mean, think California has a very good... I mean, but with governors. is it true that you think that he's the best governor that California had? He definitely had the best poses out of any governor <laughs> California's ever had. Okay, best poses. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I like it. I like it. I Pumping like it. Pumping iron. <laughs> Dylan, I heard that you were a great wrestler. Were you a cauliflower wrestler? Cauliflower wrestler? Yeah. What is a cauliflower wrestler? So the cauliflower wrestlers were the dogs, the nasty guys. All their ears were Oh, they had the cauliflower. The cauli oh. cauliflower. The cauliflower. I probably pronounced it wrong. I have the most, like, bitch cauliflower ever. I got, like, it's probably... Oh, so a, you, you were, a, you were no, actually no, no, a cauliflower no. I have wrestler. I rice-sized grain. So you were a cauliflower Look, wrestler. It's like... Dylan was a cauliflower that's wrestler. That's like saying someone has a burn mark on their Cauliflower arm. wrestler. <laughs> cauliflower. <laughs> cauliflower? If I, if I have cauliflower... Were you a cauliflower I'm about wrestler? As, that's like saying that you have a burn from a cauliflower campfire and you're an omega. I, I don't know about that. It's like that. getting... Brain, like it's, I have nothing. I can hear great. My ears are wonderful. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of buddies that, you know, don't get picked on in bar fights that's for sure because like, they got their cauliflower they have horrible hearing <laughs> it's, it's bad it's nasty okay but, yeah i know a lot of people that did i never got it luckily i like it i like it i like it um during high school what kind of kid were you oh, man like were you like i see dylan now and if i was the guest i'd be like <laughs> Dylan in high school, he loved football. He was a wrestler. He was a tough guy. Mm -hmm. He probably like smashed bottles over his head at parties and stuff. Nah. He was definitely the keg so, champ. Um, the girls all loved him, but he did, he got married early, so he definitely got it all out the way in high, like early in life. I, I actually, like. wifey was junior year of high school. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Wifey, wifey, wifey no. holds it down. So wifey wears Junior high school. Wifey I've known her enough. since eighth grade. She's oh known god. football like since I've kind of mm -hmm. like started being decent at football. Like, you know, she's she's seen everything. She's seen Yo. everything. Surgery. We found like, who's tougher than Dylan for sure. Look, give yeah. wifey a shout out. We hey, need her day. We need man, dude. Kathleen. Yeah. I appreciate you everything yeah. you're doing holding it down for the fam because you know. Yeah. It's, everybody wants to be a football wife until they're a football wife. And then hey, she's yo. she really like She rocked that shit for real. Like we say this sometimes, consummate professional. Yeah. And, like wouldn't be able to do it without her hundred yeah. percent. She holds it down to like and like that's so important to have. Imagine having somebody it's a like camp that in the camp. You need that, yo. It's like you need that, and like everybody knows, you always like as a football player, and not just as like a football player, but as an elite football player. You need somebody in that corner, like being like, stay focused. The mental shit, stay man. Focused. It's hard. Stay focused because it's not just like, oh, I get to come and just play football, and woo, this is fun. Like, just do my job, mind my business, like. You're in the the best of the best. That's it's on you every day, but every that's, game, but that's, every but that's hour, natural. every second. Yeah. And it's always been like that. So for like mo like people like myself and you, it's like it's normal. But like, it's heavy though. Hey man. <laughs> hey, the faster the rocket goes, the harder it is to steer. And yeah. So, you know, you need some help. We mm -hmm. live a fast life. You know, pro mm -hmm. football. That's that's what it is. You right. Know, you go. You go. You go. And uh, you know, it helps to have two hands on it. Facts. And, you know. Somebody telling me to ice or drink water when I, you know, <laughs> just you really thing. forget to It'd drink water. It'd be that voice in your head where you're like, ah, mom got me. Yeah, well, I, you know, I have three of them now. So, <laughs> my dog <laughs> Two of them don't speak three. English. But, hey, yeah. 
um, can we talk about how your daughter head buddied you? I was laughing. Yeah. I was like, that's so Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my oldest, my oldest is an issue for sure. Uh, she's me. I she's, love it. She's I my it. twin. Okay. And uh, she was running in head button walls and laughing like mm-hmm. when she was just figured out how to walk. She's, you know, hell on wheels, but I made it. So... <laughs> Let's go. I turn out all right. I think I'm a decent person. You are. You know, and if anybody, anybody can help us, me. <laughs> Look. <laughs> all right. So I have this thing on my uh, on the show. It's called Twenty One Questions, where we're gonna list a bunch of questions. It's either or. Like I'll give you an example. You have daughters, like, and I would say something like, "Would you rather go to a soccer game or a field hockey game?" That's funny. <laughs> I've never been to a field hockey game. But you so. have daughters now. Yeah. And that's a high possibility. Okay. Soccer. <laughs> so, but if you didn't want to answer the question and let you know, if, in case your daughter was a star field hockey player, you could just drink and like mm-hmm. get to wash the waves. Okay. Stuff, okay. 21. 21 questions. Um, Let's do it. And just going to read off the questions and yeah, we're going to keep it moving like that. Wedding day? <laughs> birth of a child wedding day Ooh. without hesitation i know like kids if you see this later i love y'all you got a party on your wedding day you yeah, know what i mean okay. wifey and i were going through some stuff on the you know like we're trying to we're in the bunker we're getting ready for you know yeah. <laughs> okay Kid being up every yeah, two hours that, i'm sure you know, my dog zach, zach, yeah, my dog zach wifey, could man. definitely say wedding day too as well shout out my dog zach um, okay, next question. Jagar Davis or Sean Lennon? Uh, <laughs> question was Jagar Davis that um, we played with last year or Sean Lemon. They both play defensive end. Yeah, they do. Um, I'm just curious, yeah, like, who would you pick? Like, the people who want to know, like, your expert expertise. If you could break down, like, I know who you would pick, mm-hmm. but... What you okay, doing? so my expert expertise, I've played with both of them. They're both, they're great in their own way, but they're kind of alike. Like, they both got that shifty, almost untrackable kind of move, mm-hmm. you know. Um, they both ball when it matters, which is the big part, you mm-hmm. know. Like, when, when they got to get sacks, they get sacks. They're both dominant. Mm-hmm. And they're both, like, not really looked upon as like golden child you know what i mean like jg's always had people talk trash about certain things about him and same thing about lemon but they always are consistently on top you know what i mean Mm. so i definitely pick okay that's a that's a good answer it's a good answer next oh Mm mm-hmm Bo Levi or McLeod Bethel Thompson oh wow the question was Bo Levi or McLeod Bethel Thompson. If you play football mm-hmm. and if you're up to date with the speed of the game, the comparison, you know what I mean? It's like, a- you know what I mean? Like up to date speed. That's what would you pick? Currently, I would go with what what's what's going hot. You know, I'd go Mac. Okay. Um, that's. I don't think you could get a better comparison. Hey, like man. that's that's they, deep digging. That's don't like pay really me the big peasy. bucks for nothing. <laughs> Man. I'd have to go Mac. I'd have to go Mac. I think, I think he has, and this is, you know, my opinion personally, but, mm-hmm. you know, they're both high competitors, high, but, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, high competitors, you kind of ride that wave a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, he's on top of that wave right now, I'd go Mac. I bet, I would say Mac is more dangerous right now with the football than Bo, for sure. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Martha Stewart or Betty Crocker? <laughs> Martha Stewart, she with the shit. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Martha Stewart, a rider. <laughs> Without <laughs> hesitation. Yeah. <laughs> Whitney Houston or Britney Spears? Whitney Houston. <laughs> Who made this list? <laughs> Britney Spears? <laughs> I was just trying to see something, man. Yeah, I was just trying uh, to we see all, something. We all know what it is. <laughs> Keep going. I know this is going. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love you too. Football or wrestling? Oh, football. 
Yeah, I did wrestling just to be better at football. Really? Like wrestling was cool. Like I didn't, I didn't like wrestling. I never liked wrestling. They make you weird, weird things. Because right? the tights, like, yeah. And then the starting position. Yeah. I just, it always <laughs> was like that wasn't something for me. I didn't so, understand it. So how'd you get so used to it? There's rules. They, yeah. Look, so when you're wrestling, you can choose. When they do that top bottom stuff and it, like that sus. Would like, you I'm pick not, top or bottom? I would go like this. <laughs> I would stand. I would stand to the side, and if you go like this and just put it on his back, yeah, and you just let him stand up, yeah, you're allowed to. Oh wow, That's yeah, it's a man stuff. That's so tough. I would let him. Well, no, because then he he automatically gets points for escape. Oh, for getting up. Yeah. So you just give him a point. Yeah. No, but. In the process of him standing standing up, I'd tackle him. <laughs> so like then we just end up in the are right you, wait, position. Out, are you saying are you saying you would illegally hit him? It is a legal move in wrestling. <laughs> as long as you stay in the mat. But did a couple guys get dumped in the bleachers sometimes? Yeah. yeah sometimes it just has to happen. Dude, wrestling was Yo, bad for me in high what school. About that was a wifey, time. Wifey at the wrestling match with yes. you? Yes. She, and like, she so had the Letterman match. jacket on Ooh. at wrestling meets. Ooh. Mind you, you gotta understand. <laughs> People that don't understand wrestling, it's yeah. it's it's a meat sport. So mm -hmm. it's like swimming. It's like uh, wrestling, obviously. It's like track and field. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. uh, you're there all day. And so I'd hit her up when I was in the finals because I was gonna come on. I was gonna make the finals. Of course. <laughs> so uh, we'd get, and so she would only make like one or two, or they would have these things called dual matches, yeah. where it's like your school versus another school. And these were dope because you would go in and you had to weigh in for your weight class, and you weighed in, and the other dude weighed in, and mm -hmm. so it was like high school UFC matchups. And, okay. You know, I'm a little psychopath at the time. And Aren't we off? So <laughs> I would have teams like forfeit their heavyweight. Like they had a heavyweight that could wrestle. Because they didn't want no smoke. They didn't want to wrestle. Oh, but that's I, how you was giving it up? I was, I yeah, I was an issue. I had, I had, I, I had fun. I had fun. Because I was coming right off of What's football worst, season. We were dominant What's football. the worst you ever done somebody in front of your wifey? Like when was it where like you know how like you invite like your your wife or your oh, girlfriend just to a, a game and it was just like yo come watch my game come watch my game and then you finally had that game where it's like look so yo, I can't come watch my game state state I had a moment like that but mm -hmm. I don't know I don't know if wife was there because it was in Southern California mm -hmm. um, state I had a moment where I beat the two seed and I was unranked so I had to wrestle into the tournament yeah and uh, I had like I was tripping on it I ain't gonna lie like. We, the wrestlers, so there's some story on it. So, like, um, we had just beat Servite in football. Mm -hmm. And they were, like... Phones off, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they were taught... That's a fine, ain't it? It's definitely that's a fine. fine. I'll that's find a fine. myself. <laughs> uh -huh. a fine. Yo, so, uh... <laughs> All right, to cover it. <laughs> no, actually, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, we beat Servite for state. Servite mm -hmm. was top... 10 or top five ranked in the nation mm -hmm. so w us beating them made us the number one team in the nation mm -hmm. and uh then when i came to wrestling the number two c was the servite kid mm -hmm. the same d lineman i went against all in football mm -hmm. and like i'm not as good as wrestling he's got offers to places mm -hmm. like big places ohio and stuff and i'm like man how am i gonna beat this guy like i, I was I, like i wasn't wrestling a week ago two right. weeks ago and so like i was breaking in camp i was working just like always man i was just like working 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 but i was like mentally you know like we talking about you gotta have the mental have my wife and my camp's been huge mm -hmm. um but like i was young and i was like man it was the first time where i was like fuck there's no way i can beat this guy mm -hmm. you know and then we got into the match I beat him. Yeah. I beat him. <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, I got a picture of me picking up my coach and everything. And Bro, like, but that's and the, I'm, yeah. Those are the moments though. Cause like my moment, my moment for that was when I was in uh, college in the Big Ten. And then I was like, I wasn't sure yet, but I used to always play video games. And mm -hmm. like, I used to love playing with Ohio State. They had like a sick running back. And then I ended up going to Minnesota. And I was just like, dang, what is it going to be like playing against like these? Because you think like people are like that not is. regular people. I'm right. like, I'm playing video games right. with these guys, right? Makes them look real. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit, like we're playing Ohio State. Like we're about to play with the guys that I usually like play with in Madden. And, I mean, NCAA and stuff. And then I line up. And then, like, the third play of the game, I shoot the gap, TFL, slam him. I'm like, oh, I'm going to the league. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got a name for it. It's that gods can bleed moment. Yeah. Where you're just like, oh. 
oh, I got this. <laughs> like, oh, okay, okay. Mm. This guy, oh man, he walked in cocky too to the match. For real? And I think that's what it was. Bro, oh, it was like, he, he was like, he was, he was he relaxing. He thought he had He thought it was a charity fight. He didn't know yes. he was dealing with a savage. He like, didn't know. Like, he didn't know. But we're coming in. My coach was German, you know, like yeah. barely spoke English, like said, you know, and he was just like super serious and was like, he's joking around. He's laughing at his coaches. He's smiling. Oh, he hands. thought he already won. I got a hood on. I'm playing my medal. Whoa. I'm like, the medal? I got that. Sometimes, <laughs> look, wrestling was a beautiful thing. And I think more guys got to wrestle, like growing up. They got to change the uniform women, like, first. It's, the, I get it. The uniform is the and the headgear. It looks terrible. It's the number one thing. But check it. Like when you made it to a finals, mm -hmm. and this is the part I love, and I think like this part of the competitive nature of you would mm -hmm. love it. Was like you make it to the finals, all of a sudden your uniform, you got a different uniform that people only wore for the finals. Mm -hmm. So like we had a green, we had a green bit mm -hmm. for like our main stuff, but it was silver for like okay. And then you would go and they have a whole gymnasium and they would drop, especially Granada, I think, was the high school, and they would drop a center light and it was just one light and go, Oof. and it's just you can, everything's dark but the match, Dang. just the, right. And they walk in, and you got the music going, and so like. They do it by weight class and heavyweight. You know, I always did heavyweight. There's no weight class. There's no limit to it. Mm -hmm. But I was on the lighter end. I was like maybe 250, 240. Yeah. And uh, but you, so I would be the last match of the whole night. And there's a spotlight and music going. People just losing their mind. Yeah. And just to beat somebody. That's a vibe. In front of everybody. That's a and vibe. You're just like, it's like a legal street fight. Is that what, like, you, yeah, is that the vibe? I'm listening. I got, look, I had the whole crazy kid thing going. I had these guys. Let the body hit the flow. Yes, 100% body, body was on. Look, like I said, it was a meet, it's a meet kind of Yeah, I see the vibe. Situation, Yo, right? So you had, time, you had time in between yeah, matches. So like you're hanging out, you're hanging out with people that you're about to wrestle. Mm -hmm. But you got to make these people think you're a little off, yeah. right? So I got my I got my silk Playboy pajamas. Mm -hmm. I got, you know, just keeping Wait, myself. I'm eating snacks the I whole time. I got a question time. though. Do you keep sweatpants on or are you just walking around just letting my them know like I do this for So real? I got the sweats on. I got a sweatshirt that I would put on to get ready. Yeah. But I had these black and red silk Playboy pajamas Ooh. that I would wear every time. And I did, that's what I had. And so mm -hmm. like, but you gotta make these kids think you're a little off, right? Yeah. So I had this Batman coloring book about that thick <laughs> and this big pack of crayons. So most of the time I would just spend in between matches because oh, no. I'd just be coloring no, and chilling I and look and I'm having a good time. I see why them kids was leaving and not wanting yeah. to fight your ass. I'm yeah. leaving too. And it's cool. I was relaxing, having a wonderful no. time, eating good snacks. And I talked to him and, had a good, and then we get in the match and I start warming up and I felt like I was the only one that took warm up serious. So I, so I put my headphones on and I'm listening. This is the good music days when they're dropping like, I have good Jay-Z. Mom, I don't want to fight the kid gun. with the crowd, bro. I'm look, look, I'm saying, I, I look like a grown man at this age. I got to show a photo, look. When I don't want to fight the grown man with the coloring book, I'm dying. I fighting would you, stare. Bro. I would stare at him during warm up, and I'm getting warmed up. I'm yeah. listening for coming undone. I'm not fighting and he's you. Like, yeah, and I'm cocky. You know, like, and I yeah. watch Mike Tyson fight videos, so I had yeah. that in my head. I would just the stare. coloring like, book I'm got me. I'm gonna embarrass you running. in front of your whole family. <laughs> Like, this is about to be fun. You would never go and get the chance. I'm but here's, but here's the thing. Here's the only difference between wrestling and football, though. In football, I want to play against the best. Yeah. And sometimes you might get somebody that don't even want to be in there. Re in football, I want to go against, like, I, w I want you to be at your best. I mm. want to beat you at your best. I want to do that. Wrestling, I enjoyed wrestling people that weren't very good. <laughs> like, I didn't want to go... The three rounds or whatever are it you, was. Are you bringing up Saskatchewan's O line again? Stop. A basket. Is that what you're talking about? Stop. <laughs> oh, I was just wondering. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, the good guys, man. The, the great, great guys. guys. <laughs> great guys. <laughs> Next question. Is we had a drink for that one? That's funny. <laughs> Farm living. Farm living. Yeah. I've done both. Tell me, wait. Tell me about the, the craziest model. animal that you had to take care of on the farm. 
craziest animal on the farm. Yeah, like what was the We've hardest? We've had an otter. Like, what was like, well, I don't know what to do with this. It's, <laughs> I wouldn't say animal, I would say situation. So I'll Ooh, give you both. that's like, yeah, yeah, So yeah, first yeah. I'll give you the animal. The craziest animals that we, you know, that we got to deal with is one time me and my buddies were, uh, we thought we were hunting a beaver. Because the beaver is because there's canals. Bro, why would you hunt a beaver, yo? What the heck is your school logo? What the hell are you doing? Trapping and, you know, nicely releasing. (laughs) Alright, alright. But it wasn't a beaver, so it doesn't matter. (laughs) (laughs) So, we go out thinking that this beaver is damming off the canals. We're in the Sac, like near the Sac River, Mm -hmm. Rio Vista, California. And, uh,. So we got to clear out, we got to go in with a backhoe and clear out all this water or the irrigation can't get in and, you know, help the cows and stuff and the fields. And uh, it wasn't a beaver and we never found a fucking beaver. So it was just a giant waste of time. But uh, we have found river otters and there's a lot of coyotes and stuff like that. The situations get crazy and we get a little, you know, it's feel like it would get hectic. Look, there's, it, it depends on what kind of story you like, want. I you can like, go anywhere from like... What, what did you have on your farm? Let's start with that. Cattle. Maybe cattle. Cattle, so they're Yo, cows. So. Did you have dogs for the cattle or were you yeah, the dog? Yeah, no, but... We, I feel like I would you would be both. the dog for the cattle. So, uh, the Cabral Ranch, top-notch mm-hmm. situation. No, so it's uh, it's my buddy's grandfather's ranch mm-hmm. that he started and he, he's got going mm-hmm. um my buddy helps runs it and helped ran it forever mm-hmm. and uh i come in and just help any way i can what we do is we run a herd of about 1500 head what cow so thousand like, five and there's like wait, five four wait, of us a thousand we'll say it again 1500 wow so like, and there's like four wait, of us or something. Wait, but what's the size of a season, cow? Like, give me the image. Like, what's the size okay, of a cow? Okay, so wait. Cattle, right? So we would sell an adult cow can be over a thousand pounds easy. What? Um, so that's we, over what? Fifteen hundred pounds? It's a that yeah. you're dealing with? No. So like, it's it's like, it's a lot of cows. Yeah, and it's a lot of cows. So what we do is we breed them out. So we have the calves, and the calves grow to a certain age, and then we sell them. Okay. That's kind of what we do. So we do the calving part of it, and uh, do they get so. I'm sorry. It gets. I got a It gets like. This is interesting. Yeah. Do you sell the cows at what age? Oh, that's a good question. Because I that's feel like you get job. the cows. Are they like two no. years? They're out of there right away. We sell them by weight. So like, do people want to grow their own cows, or yeah. do people want to get an already grown cow? Kind of like both. So we sell it like it depends. Our early sell, like earliest I've ever seen sell is four hundred pounds. Mm-hmm. So four hundred, five hundred. Um, we'll sell sometimes five, sixes, and sevens, mm-hmm. and you like divide the herd up and you sell. We wholesale. Okay. So like sometimes. Oh, so y'all. y'all sometimes a place. Weight. Well, sometimes places that want to like do the finishing, mm-hmm. so they do their their like beef production part of it. They need to like supplement the herd, or sometimes they just you know don't want to deal with the calving part because the calving part's a headache. Yeah. Like having babies, that's all it is. Is like we're like midwives for cows. Oh wow. But like it can go anywhere from like just hard days of work, just like you know holes the movie, or you can even get to oh, like oh holes. That's the, the first yeah. Book but you work your they work I the tails that off. Book. That's the, here, here the analogy though. Yeah. you can go all the way to like Dexter about it. Oh wow, like, I don't like get, I like Dexter, but I don't like Dexter. No, it gets like sometimes the cat Dexter scare me. So time sometimes the cat Dexter season scare gets, you. It, like, do you like Dexter? Like, bloody. if you see the Dexter. Would you like be un- un- uncomfortable in the same room with Dexter? I don't know. I feel like everybody's looking for him now with the Dahmer show out and all that. Oh yeah. Like I think like people are trying to look for the weird guy. I actually have a question for you about mm. that, Hannah. Jeffrey Dahmer or Adam Dunn? So Adam Dunn, he puts needles in us, and like blood rah, go all over the place. Like rah, he puts all these pokes, all these needles in us. Adam Dunn or Jeffrey Dahmer? For what? What's the? What's the? Who would you pick? Pick Adam Dunn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to pick Jeffrey Dahmer. I watched one episode of it and then like, I'm cool. So, so who would you pick? You would not Jeffrey Dahmer. Whatever, the, whatever the other other choice is. Adam Dunn. Okay. Adam Dunn, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But back to the cattle, because that was actually mad interested. I'm wondering. How early can you eat a cattle? Like when oh, can you, you be know like? What veal I'm is? 
Oh wow! I knew it. I That's knew what, it. Uh, so veal, veal is cat. Veal. Just like wait, just lamb it's the baby. Yeah, veal not, is baby cow. I see. Y'all didn't know. See, okay. Oh time wow. Out. We need to. We need to have a moment here, everybody <laughs> that's watching. A little comes Jesus. Wow. Know where your food comes from. <laughs> it's okay. You can eat me. You can choose not to eat me. But like, know where your food comes from. Veal is baby cow. Lamb, baby sheep. My you like lamb? I love lamb kebabs. Yeah, this, those are those cute little fluffy ones. <laughs> they run around. It's okay. I, I, what if I told you I was a vegetarian? I would say you would be, have a very hard time being a professional athlete. You think and so? I, I have had teammates on my team um, that have been vegan and played at a very elite level. Shout out to the Arizona Hot Shots. Okay. AAF. Hot Shots, what's that, AAF? AAF, back at A, RIP to a real one, poor one out. Oh, <laughs> AAF, they died. It was yeah. a league that died. Oh yeah, died real quick, got me paid. Yeah, okay. Hey, shout out to the um, AAF for getting my dog paid. I got some exclusive clothes from it, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Did they have to be printed again. Yeah. I, I always wonder how I would I like- our color scheme was pretty good. I always wonder how I would fare playing in one of those leagues. It's I rough. think I would smoke it. I played in the UFL and I was like, it was mad easy for me. Yeah, no, you'd smoke it. And I went right back to NFL. Look, ballers that. are going to ball. That's the stuff we always keep talking about. Like, mm -hmm. if you're going to be an elite player at any level, like, ballers are going to ball. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you would do well. Yeah. It's But, you know, there's copious amounts of people that would do well in those situations. It's just getting your shot and being able to shine in that shot. Yeah, it's about... And getting people to watch. Like, yeah, but I, like, I think that's a good point. I, uh, a lot of people miss the entertainment value of uh, our our job. You know what I mean? You got to be you presentable. Talking? Like I'm just talking about like there's a lot of good. Fo there's only a couple of like Dylan Wins, Simone Lawrence type of like play. Rather like mm -hmm. really good football players. The mm -hmm. rest are like good football players. But mm -hmm. like you got to stand out too, though. You know what I mean? Whether that's like just being in interesting a little bit. You know what I mean? Like. Well, I get uncomfortable watching some interviews, yo. Like at least, at least know how to like communicate and like interact with the community. I get what you're saying. This is free game right now. So, what would you say football is as a business? As a business, it's an entertainment business. I want, I want to be the coolest kid in the room because I know the kids want to be the coolest kid in the room. So I'm not coming to an interview wearing. Blah, 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 blah. 100. percent I'm not I'm on the sideline wearing. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just because it's like, you got to keep your value up. It's an entertainment business. Are those and young like, bucks? Yeah, it's all about like the highest act of, the highest act is to be able to inspire, right? You want people right. to be like, oh, I want to do this. Yeah. I want to do that. Yeah. You know, and you want people to do like respectful, cool things. And you know, like it's all about being a role model. Question 100%. for you. What kind of role model are you? Man, I think the biggest thing, you know, I think of that stuff. I think of that stuff a lot because I got the two kids. Mm -hmm. um, I want... You know, my role model thing to be like work. You just gotta work. And that's you know, so it's, it's, no, that's you. But it, but it says all that's this Hamilton. Time. That's you. It is, and yeah. it, and I love it, and that's why I love it here. Is it kind of fits with the community, but mm -hmm. you know, it's as old as time, and you know, it sucks that you you know it's beat to the ground sometimes. But I really truly believe that people don't understand what hard work is until you see hard work. It's the truth. Like your ceiling is this, and it's always gonna be this until you see that. Mm -hmm. And like, that's, I just like keep pushing that ceiling. For real. Like, that's great. Hard work for you. For me, but you, I, you I get always that say, too. like, I always just was like, just for kids to understand that, like, this is just life. Like this life is a rough life. It's tough. And you got to be able to battle through it. You know what I mean? So like, I be trying to show like all my scars. I show like all like everything just to be like, mm. oh, he was sad at this point. But now look at him happy, sad, happy. You know what I mean? Just like I the don't ebbs think... and flows of life. Because life, it's just about dealing with life. You know what I mean? Because you can act like you're a superhuman. But like, nothing bothers me. Arr, boom, that falls off my chest. Arr, that falls off my chest. But then you can get into it like, Man, my leg hurt right now, and I gotta be like the best player ever right now. There's not enough of that. There's not enough of that in pro sports. There's not enough of that in our role models. Like, um, 100%, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm there as a point, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Um, I well, still wanna be, you know, I wanna be superhuman at all times. But, but like, you are, and I feel like you are superhuman. Mm -hmm. Like, 
Come on, though. There's always I a base the camp. Way, I watch the way you practice. I watch the way you play. And, like, it's understood. Like, you go one speed, that's 100 miles an hour. And that's hard. Like, mm -hmm. that's not easy to do. Like, 100 miles every single day, every single play, every single rep. Like, that's just you. Like, it's not no zero to 60. You got to get in a freaking spaceship because you start at whatever, 100 miles an hour. So, I don't think it's an option. <laughs> yeah. Like for me, so like at, at least personally, mm -hmm. when I walk away from this game, when I want to be done, yeah. and when I whatever I have goals and aspirations, I'm gonna keep to myself. But like at the end of the day, I want to be like I have no regrets. And mm -hmm. everyone said that, and everyone you know you heard that since you were when did you start playing? So I was scared. I, I started playing when I was eight years old. Second grade for me. Yeah. So like kids, we we're mm -hmm. kids. But I remember that was the number one thing that everyone said was like, don't like don't play with any regrets like if yeah. you work as hard as you can you won't have any regrets you, and like i've seen everybody fall out of that mm -hmm. you know everybody's cop the day everybody's you know whatever and i know at the end of the day when i'm done when i hang up the helmets because you know football is the only sport where you only have a set amount of times from the first day you tie on those cleats and mm -hmm. put that helmet on we didn't know but you have a set amount of days. It's not like I can, you know, kick a soccer ball around or throw mm -hmm. a football. Like, you know, when football's done, football's done. Mm -hmm. Like, you can coach it maybe, and that's kind of, you know, it seems exciting to win. Yeah, but, like, but like, there's you no can't plan. Get the, you can't just beat somebody up because you're supposed to. No, so, like, it's finite, and I don't want to lose that. And so, like, you mm -hmm. know, I'll go full metal. I know, I know I'm not going to live forever, but, you know. Uh, there's the an Eric Church song about it that's real nice. It comes you know? with the game, yo. It's it sounds, part of the it game. sounds very cowboy to floor to the metal until you, you know, burn out. Yeah. <laughs> football. I told everybody about football. Like, it's one of those sports where it's like you give everything to it, and like at the end, it's going to leave you. <laughs> so, how about this? How about this? You, uh, you, uh, take a cleats from me type dude? Mmm. Cause there's yeah. there's the two guys Wait. in the locker room. So, there's always yeah. the two guys in the locker come room. You gotta get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Excuse like. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> sorry. Just so you know, a little a little background. You know, this is a so this like, classic locker room conversation that yeah. comes up, and this is one of them. Like, mm -hmm. when do you tip your hat, jump out of the game, especially at an elite level? Yeah. Do you do it when you're the king and you're on top and you're balling, or are you? One of those nitty gritty, take my cleats, yeah. you gotta cut me. But like, that's the cloth. It's like, you could tell the, the difference between the two, you know? Right. Like, you cut from that kind of cloth, you know what I mean? One thing, one thing I always, uh, I always looked at uh, somebody like a Mike Riley, right? Mm. Mike Riley was probably like one of like the best uh, quarterbacks and stuff. And mm. he had like some great years and stuff. And then mm -hmm. he stopped making the playoffs for like three years in a row. Mm -hmm. And then he, the time he retired, he didn't even make the playoffs. And I'm just like, I could never do that. We would pepper him. I would, like, it was, yeah. <laughs> he had He's so me. <laughs> You're me. No, like, so what are you, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying with that? Nah, I told him. I, you know me. Yeah. I, you know, I tell so people So you think, how I feel. like, I he, he played as long. He played. I have so much respect for him. Yeah. You so think, I feel he, like he, I think rode, he gave it. I wrote. I think he rode into those rims with bear, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, I feel it. And I got so much respect for him. <laughs> you see what but I'm those saying? those end years, man, we were pumping that boy. <laughs> Look. Like, and, like, to the point, like, Nah, yo. When you would like, get a hit on him, you would get a hit on him. You're like, yeah, I got him. I'm like, I know he felt that. And, and you'd be like, did, did he feel that? Yeah. Like, Good. I respect it. I, 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 really, I really enjoyed Mike Riley, man. Shout out to Mike Riley if you... You're probably going to watch this just because, you know. It's a goat. He's, he's, you, there's you no know way you're was, Spartan bro. for like, that long. Yeah, like... You're the toughest guy. Toughest guy mm -hmm. in the CFL voted many years yeah now here's my question but that tough guy stuff makes me kind of mad though like i'll give it so to who like votes it not even about who votes it. it's just be like there's a difference there's a fine line in between getting punished a lot and being tough you know what i'm saying like just because you get beat up all the time doesn't make you tough you know what i'm saying like yeah. 
I like I like yeah. people that like tough to me is somebody that's running to the sideline instead of running out of bounds. They turn their shoulder, mm-hmm. drop it, and give it like to that. you. I'm and that. Mike used to do that. Mike yeah. would be like, he'd be running, and you can't slow down because he might give you the shoulder and try to run you over. Mm-hmm. Like when Scrabble was in there, he would give you the shoulder. Yeah. Like that's tough. You know what I mean? And that like so like yeah. you're saying the gray hairs came quick. Yeah, you got you got to stay away from all that action though at quarterback. I think he was taking a lot. He of was hits. taking a lot of hits. That he don't need so to be like, taken. Especially from people like... How would you take it if your quarterback was voted the most tough guy in the CFL? If I was an old line, I'd be like, how do you even know that? <laughs> like, I'm playing old line. How do you know my quarterback tough? You're not even supposed to know that. Like, it's my quarterback. How do you... Uh, you, didn't even, you can't even talk to him without getting through me. Oh, you already got to me, so now we got to talk to the... Uh, do you think that was more award or disrespect? What do you mean? I mean, so like, your quarterback should not have to be tough. Right. That's just the game, you know what I mean? No quarterback should have to be tough. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if I play online, no, nah, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Like, that's personal. That hurts my heart. Like, I can't sleep at night. I got to take melatonin. Like, <laughs> come on. Circling <laughs> in the head. Yeah. yeah that's that's just messing me up, bro. All right, 21 questions. 21 yeah, questions. Keep pushing, right? <laughs> Next. Long distance relationship or living with your significant other? Look, <laughs> is it me picking? I've right, done so, both. All right, look, I ain't gonna lie, I've done. Who prefers long distance? Huh? Who prefers long distance? I don't. I, listen, that's so I word. would, I would, I would choose living with. Yeah, and that's because I did the long distance. And for, it sucks. It's hard, huh? It's like, like you're responsible for somebody else's emotions while you don't even have their emotions and then you're in a different country and then you're battling a different emotion. Oh, man. I, for me... It's like I for, went through it or something. Me, look, I did it. I did it all through college. Yeah. I did it all through college. Mm-hmm. And uh, like, and I did it for the early part of my pro ball. And uh, it's... You just... Are you on a team or not? That's real. That's how I view That's, it. It's hey. like... Is if you got if you got my name on you and like even when my wife and I were dating like mm-hmm. I said you're my girlfriend mm-hmm. you know so like why would I have someone else's back more than you and so like the communication's got to be there that everything's got to be you find out if you're gonna work or not really quick mm-hmm. and so I think that's why I've been with my wife forever is like we did the long distance stuff and if you can figure out long distance you can figure out anything. Mm. Oh, yeah. that's not saying that moving in with each other doesn't bring its own Nah, I gotta issues. get married first. Man, I'll tell you what. We did that in Cleveland, and uh, after I bumped my ankle real bad, and I was, it was the other time I had a career-ending injury, and uh, my wife came out and took care of me in Cleveland. I'll tell you what. Man, that's she's the realist, bro. That's when I knew she was the one. Yeah. 100%. Man. I was like, man, all right, yep, you got this. That's real love, like oh, she just love you a little. She crazy moved ass. from California to the east to Cleveland to buy a house for the cost of a VCR. <laughs> Not the same. That's so. lit, bro. That's lit, man. Dylan Wynn giving us the game on relationships. I mean, I feel like you're well versed. I also hear twenty one questions is over, by the way. Okay. Um, I also hear that you're a gamer. Like, what kind of gamer are you? Are you one of those guys, <laughs> when you get on the microphone, you it. just start instantly talking like, ah, shut up, I hate you, I'm gonna shoot you, <clears throat> blah. Or do you, like, have conversation with guys and talk about life? Or, like, like, because sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get on the game just to get my bars off. I wanna win. I wanna win. I wanna win. Yeah, so, like, so I can you know what comes with that. The game. You know what comes with that, though. Yes. So, are you like, are you doing the mind trick where you're like, you know how like some players that come up to us before games and be like, hey, I love the way you play, da da, and do like one of those, uh, like, I'm so I don't talk <laughs> lobby. I don't do lobby talk. I don't do it. Oh, you don't? I don't do lobby talk. So, oh, I'm whenever there, I'm on man. the mic, yeah. whenever I actually had somebody do the, you know, Xbox messaging thing. Oh, you must have did you dirty, bro. No, so it's on Battlefield. Okay. Going <laughs> but I almost, I don't have the temper for it. Mm-hmm. And so, like, 
I almost exclusively, if I'm talking to somebody on the mic, my I got the same headset I've had forever, huddled together with duct tape, the things are OG. One of the main dudes on the squad is actually a fan in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Like, he's a Rough Rider fan, so I talk so much. Yeah. yeah. You know, and we'll Those play. people just are different. Yeah, so like, like, I don't understand them sometimes. Yeah, well, he's Where do you right think they're from? Like, where do you come from? Huh? What's in the water? Man, it's like Nebraska people, and my people are from Nebraska, so yeah. like... Uh, What's in the water, though? Like, what makes them so... The water ain't Interesting. Clean. It's not clean water? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, SAS, SAS, they got, they got a lot of free time. Why do they have so much free time? Because there's nothing to do. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. No, they got a, they got a nice, look, you guys know it. Saskatchewan's a beautiful uh, it's city. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Uh, SAS is cool. SAS is cool. You got love city? football. Look, it's like Nebraska. <laughs> I've never been to but Nebraska. Ca- you've never been to Nebraska? No, actually, I so played in Omaha. I played in Omaha, Nebraska, and I played against Dante yeah, Culpepper in the UFL. That was so cool. I was like, yo, Dante Culpepper sucks, but like. Okay, it so what like, it, um, when you think of Nebraska, what do you think of? Um, running backs for some reason. See, it has to do with football. It's Nebraska Corn Huskers. Yeah. When you think of Saskatchewan, what do you think about? Um, the Rough farms. Riders. The Rough Riders. Who the think about riders? that? You're great. I love you. I love you. There's nothing else, but there's nothing else. There's nothing else. So like the passion for the football is huge. Okay. But the time on the Twitter is also pretty long. But I also think that Hamilton has like so much to do and we still have the best fans in the world. Like, like we have to work. We no, work but we're every day a working going city. Hard. That's different. And, and like, mm-hmm. but like there's stuff to do. And we like, I feel like people that chose like things that show like who a person is, is what they can do when they can do whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? It's like, they don't got a lot of time, but they still come into the gang, you know what I mean? I got a good one. I got a great one for you. I got a great one for you. Okay. Do you think every team in the CFL reflects the energy of their city? Ooh, that's a good question. But yeah, because that's just how, that's part and of the- And it's not what city doesn't part, reflect their energy. That's part of the entertainment value too, though. But that's you know, it's like as a player and as an athlete, you have to do your research. You can't come to a new city and then say like, "Hey, I'm representing you guys." You and sell your have, demographic. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. So like, we're in the field. Like, I know that I'm allowed to get in somebody's face and say something. You know what I mean? Because we twenty one savages that. got you. It's just that's we come with that. You it's know Hamilton. What I'm saying? And I love Hamilton. And it's one of those things where like, yo, you're not supposed to do that, but. I'm not going to tell nobody you're not supposed to do that. That's my dog. Like, I'm the only one going to correct mm-hmm. him. You're not supposed to correct him. But every other team has that kind of so, city vibe. Like, like, Mont- oh, like you can Should I like, say this? No, but it's like, oh. it's, every city's different. Like, yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but I like, know what you're saying. So, like, like, like so Montreal, like, as a team, like, chemistry wise, has to feel different than Calgary. Okay. You know, like you go from you go from cow country, you go from the prairies. I think Bo Levi to used to do that so good in Calgary. I think that was he a good, fits the demographic. That was a he good, fits the entertainment. You know what I mean? Yes, that was a good one. Toronto. I don't think the new guy. I don't think the new guy doesn't fit either. I think I think everyone that's in Calgary fits well. Yeah. I think they do a great. That's what I was asking. Is like, I feel like as the Hamilton Tiger Cats, we do our absolute best to reflect the city. Mm-hmm. And, do you and think every other team kind of tries to reflect the city, or you I think don't think I don't think it's in them? Like, I mean, I don't know because I've never been anywhere like that. You know, what I mean, like it's I've fact. been to Edmonton for no, 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 six no, no, months. Fact, but you play and, against them, and like Edmonton's hard. It depends on the person, though. Like everybody has like their go, like their group leaders and stuff, True. right? And like. That's how the energy goes. Like in Hamilton. So you think it's more to the people than the city. But like we're tough, you know, and what's tougher than defense in the city, right? Right. So we love our defense. Yeah. And like everybody, you have to understand the energy of that too. That's why it's like you want everybody's energy when you're playing a football game. So like you're trying to get all of the love because it's their energy is going to be played through you. That's why I think like I had so much success in Hamilton because it's like, yo, I welcome everybody's like love and energy in me. So like when I make a tackle, I know like, oh, that's the little kid right there that made the play. Oh, that's my grandma right there making me cookies. My favorite t-shirt 
in Hamilton is Hamilton hates you too. Yeah. Yeah. And they sell it on the corner. You know, I was living on James Street my first two years here and I didn't have a car or anything. So I'm in the city. Mm -hmm. Like I'm riding the bike rolling around. Shout and, out to Lulu's. Hey, Lulu Swarma for sure. So the first time <laughs> I met or I like discovered Lulu, man. Mm -hmm. I was literally riding the bike around. I just, like you said, the corner store's got to be the best. And it's a brick store. So you're like, okay, this has oh. been around. It's been around. So I go in and just love from the beginning. The food's dominant mm -hmm. always. And then that whole neighborhood. Like, you're I a got, James Street legend. I, I've been on James Street for two years. I did two years on James Street yeah. on a bike with you no You sound car. like it was hard time. No, man. Those are my people. It was good time? It was great time. Okay. It was a great time, you know? Football's luckily takes up most of the time, but like I would walk around and like I'd get to know people and I'd, you know, talk to I'm a social person. Yeah, for sure. I came out of this fancy restaurant on James Street. Um Had when the they, sailboat in front of it. When they pay me, I'll tell you about it. Um but <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Pay me to stop. <laughs> pay me to stop. <laughs> so Willow. Uh. <laughs> so I came out of there and then like there I was with I was with um um, a lady, right? And I was like, yo, like, we just did some bougie stuff. Let's go to, mm -hmm. like, a regular little dive bar or something. Mm -hmm. So I crossed the street, went into this little dive no, bar. Yo, they went crazy. I was like, ah, somebody! I've met! Like, and they just was going, I was like, oh, snap. And, like, my girl that I was with thought it was, like, all planned and bar. stuff. Yeah. Uh -uh. And then I was like, Dylan comes here all the time! And then the person actually was like, I'm going to call the bar. I was like, I'm calling Dylan right now to tell you. <laughs> I'm like, like, wait. Like, leave you're doing what? Leave Dylan alone. gives out his weight. Like, is it, like, true, like, stop, is stop, it stop, true? Stop, stop, <laughs> Is it true? You got to understand my point of view, all right? <laughs> okay, okay. I get a text message of Simone. <laughs> it's with my people. No, so like, <laughs> shout out, hey man, um, Five Star Cafe, you guys are the best. Uh, I lived above them my first year as a rookie. Okay. And so like, my parents would come to check out a game, like preseason, right? Mm -hmm. My dad stays, and of course, Dad goes downstairs, blows my cover day one, mm, which is like, you got know, your it's jersey on. When you got, no, just like, oh, you know my son? <laughs> like, he killed part. three people with yeah. one hand. <laughs> like, so our lives are a little bit different. Like, when you have a place near where you live and you want to be a little incognito, you know, like mm -hmm. a nice little wing spot, a nice little place where you can watch TV. Mm -hmm. Out the you way. Know, that was taken from me from my father. Uh, he, <laughs> He, he forgives went down you, there. he forgives you. He, he went down, he went down, you know, all the great people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, basically it was like, my, my boy plays and all this. And got to know, you know, um, Merck and Amy and, you know, the owners. And mm -hmm. um, I, went, I would go down there, you know, on a Wednesday, just have a glass of water and watch, you know, cop chases on the TV. <laughs> you know? Like, so it was like, so everybody be, loves Raymond type of vibe. But I was hanging out with, you know, with, normal guys and yeah. normal like they've been going there forever like larry you know call him larry the liar and stuff like like yeah, people got names <laughs> and you hear these stories from what's the, the community what's, what's the best thing larry lied about oh man you can't <laughs> tell the lies from the truth but he did tell me that it was super interesting did you know that the high school that's next to our stadium was named after the first african-american that played in north america Play for us, yeah. Quarterback, wow. quarterback. That's actually amazing history. And so, like, it's stuff like that that mm -hmm. you learn from the people, and you're talking to them, and like, even after a loss. And luckily, we didn't have a lot of losses that year. We had mm. three. And so, like, <sighs> that was I would, like 2019. I would yeah, man. And so I would be talking to them. I'd be talking to them, and like, you know, you, you get a vibe of what the city wants. Yeah. And what the but like, every, yeah, every, like, but that's the thing about Hamilton. Like, you gotta. You got to get in the field with it. That's why I tell people, like, you can act like you're all high and mighty, but nobody's like that out here. Nobody could give a F who you are, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's about, like, real touch-on, feel-on type of love. You have to get in the community. And here's the other thing. Like, as pro athletes, there's no other city that's going to understand you better. We put in the hours, you know, we work our tails off. Mm -hmm. And there's no other city that's going to work their tail off like Hamilton does. Yeah, you know, like, we got steel workers. Nah, Hamilton, like, nobody goes day. harder than Hamilton. Nobody goes harder than Hamilton. But I tell people all the that, time, like, yeah. there's times, like, I'm walking down the street and, like, I might be feeling sorry for myself, like, driving and I see something and I'm just like, 
Let me go put on for the city real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like I eat my breakfast at the same on game day at the mm-hmm. same spot every single time bro. Steve's open kitchen on James Street. Look. I, and it's it's just your normal it's real, cafe. Bro. It's and you the, walk in and they you know, they're real they're real cool to you, but it's like Man it's it's Hey I man, love, bro. play good. Have a day. <laughs> It's like back in like, high school, like, 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 look, you better ball. Like, yeah, everybody got the, yeah, for sure. And um, I remember going into, where was I? Dang, I just brain farted. Where you at? Where was I? Where did I go into? Dang, I forgot. You know what's great is when I sent you that fucking big scoop spot. Yo, I love big scoops. Keep talking about Big Scoops because I'm trying to remember. You're trying to pull that back? Yeah. So Big Scoops is actually a uh, like corner in the wall when you're going down James Street. There's Burt's on the right or on the left, the B spot. And it's the best ice cream I've had. Um, I was walking distance and they just got a little corner. And, you know, um, they got all these crazy flavors and stuff. I think I should really throw down a like a food, like what's come check out the food in Hamilton. Yeah. There's great food in Hamilton, man. Yeah, that's what, like, that's pretty much, like, what we do. Like, we just go check out, like... Food spots, movies, and All the food football. spots. And then, like, make them put a 21 jersey up in the restaurant, and then... Oh, see, I ain't that status yet. <laughs> I ain't that status yet. One day, then, one day. And then, and then we show them love on the, with the gang, and then they're, like, they're officially only the gang. And Lulu, who's been more loyal than Lulu's? I'm so sorry, guys, for forgetting. I had something so good. I'll just tell y'all next week. I got a lot on my mind. I got Calgary on my mind right now. Like, I can't stop thinking about this Waco guy coming across, and then I have to fit inside of him. And then I also got to think about how I'm going to play the running back when he comes out into the empty and the empty to the boundary and what kind of leverage I'm going to pick. So I got to rewatch all his routes he runs. And then I got to see how he's going to pass protect me. So I got to watch all his pass sets tonight. So, you know, I got a lot on my mind right now. So please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a great time with my dog Dylan. Appreciate oh him for coming into the Pay Me to Stop podcast. Me. This was a great episode number five. Um, big shout out to Dylan. Um, I just want to tell you that we love you and we already miss you. And I know you're a warrior, so what's understood don't even gotta be said, bro. Appreciate you, gang. Ball out. Yeah. <laughs>